Opening arguments are underway in the first murder trial for accused serial stabber Elias Abulazam. That's what's headlining our homepage right now on MyNBCNews.com. And this is the Workplace Webcast for Tuesday, May 8th. I'm Jared Smith. Abulazam is charged with killing Arnold Minor in the summer of 2010. Here is court footage from day one with Genesee County Prosecutor David Layton making his opening statement. The defense chose not to make an opening statement. Abulazam was placed in an electronic tether to ensure safety in the courtroom. Twelve jurors and four alternates were selected for the last trial last week. The 35-year-old Israeli native has been linked to as many as 16 stabbings across three states. Bad news for Genesee County flood victims who are expecting federal aid. According to Flint Township Supervisor Cheryl Miller, it appears that no federal relief will be handed down to Genesee County for those who have suffered damage from the flooding. It's not the best news for people underwater, literally and financially. State Senator John Gleason says there may still be hope, but it's at a cost and we need to be approved in an election township. Officials say any homeowners with sewage backup should let them know as soon as possible so the township can file an insurance claim on their behalf. Also in Flint Township near the intersection of Arlene and Graham, some residents had as much as nine feet of water in their basements. It took some neighbors four hours to pump the water out, leaving them to wonder, what are they going to do from here? Those affected say they can't find any commercial dehumidifiers in Genesee County to dry out their basements, so they're using fans to try to make the best of a bad situation. It's just uh, sad that it's, it actually has to be this way. And I bought it down one step and touched my toe in water. Presidential hopeful Mitt Romney will be in his home state here on Tuesday. The Michigan native will be campaigning at Lansing Community College and he'll get a special introduction from current Michigan governor and fellow Republican Rick Snyder. Stay with us here on MyNBCNews.com for more on Romney's campaign speech later in the day. If you were in downtown Flint during the mid-morning hours on Monday, you might have noticed that the power was out. Authorities confirmed that for just under four hours on Monday between 8 a.m. and noon, the lights went out at the Genesee County Courthouse. In addition to the Human Services Building, Consumers Energy reported that around 400 customers also lost power. The outage was caused by lingering effects from Friday's record rainfall. All power has been restored. In sports, a family from the UP pleaded their case in Lansing to allow their handicapped son to play high school sports. Dean Dompierre and his son Eric were in Lansing speaking before a Senate education panel. Eric play high school sports and wants to continue next year. He'll be 19 and according to the rules, he'll be ineligible to play due to his disability. Eric started school late. We have prepared for a vote of membership what we believe is the best alternative, better for Michigan than any proposal we have reviewed from other sources. The representative council doesn't advance proposals it doesn't want the membership to support. And an affirmative vote by schools is being specifically requested on this proposal. The Associations Representative Council decided to leave it up to a vote of the 1600 member schools, so he may get to play. After all, and for more on the top stories today, log on to our homepage. You can see it the monitor right here, mynbcnews.com. Don't forget, chime in on what you read by logging on to our Facebook page, NBC 25 News, or you can find us on Twitter at NBC underscore 25. Well, that's it for news and sports time. Now to head over to the Weather Center, where Janet has a peek at today's forecast. Janet. Well, thanks, Jared. Finally, some much needed dry weather today, along with some sunshine, something we didn't see a whole lot of yesterday. So on and off sun continues throughout the afternoon and evening. Now, as we head towards uh, the overnight, we will see a few showers. This is not going to be widespread or long lived. These showers will exit tomorrow, leaving us slightly cooler tomorrow. Back to the low 60s we will warm up, though. By Friday, we're back up to 70.